Welcome everyone. This is tutorial number eight. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to export a network from vSIM to vSIM. <coughs> so I have this weaving segment in here. I already called it the weaving segment. I have four zones, one, two, three, four, and four connectors. Okay, and here traffic volumes showing on the links okay uh, make sure that you already have run the assignment so make sure you have these two in your procedure so you run the assignment and you can see that there's a traffic volumes on the links okay you can double click on the links and you can see the volume okay um, so in order to export the network to vSIM, you need to go to File, Export, vSIM Animation. Okay. Um, click on the network data and then the routes data and go to save it. You need to save it somewhere. Okay, so this is vSIM to vSIM. Okay, I will call it net and for the routes. So there is two things will be exported: the network number of lanes, um, the links, and the routes. Um, how much volume from here to there, and so on. So I will save it in the same location as routes. Um, I have bus and car and if you go to the further setting uh, you need to have one hour simulation so this is like from 9 to 10 um, no need to change these things just keep them as default and click OK so now I will go to vSIM but before that um, let me show you something about the the turns okay you click on the turns here and go to this node you can see that you have two movements okay if you go to geometry okay you can see the vsim layout okay it's something similar will be shown in vsim you have two lanes three lanes you have one two three four five okay and the interesting stuff that you can do here is if you click on this um, bottom you can see that there is two arrows here or two lanes and if you click here you can see that this lane is coming in the this location okay but I don't want these guys to come and connect here because later on we'll have a connector that connects these two links with this links in this area there is will be some connectors okay so i'm going to click x here and this one should be here okay so this guy will come from here will go here and then they will do their line change okay i will go to this one turn this one off this should come in the second one so this is the second lane turn it off for this probably they are straightforward they are just going straight which is fine okay um, this step is important because later on some connectors will be drawn so probably they will be drawn based on this um, definitions um, I go back to my window okay so I have already exported the network to vSIM so I will go to vSIM now and go to file import animation okay I need to import the network data so I will go to the location where I saved it and say net um, for the routes we have two types we have the static and dynamic um, in this case I'm just going to show you how to work with the static um, maybe later on in other videos we will talk about the dynamic assignment so now we'll click on the static routes and we need to import the routes 
okay so we are in the same location and routes okay and I just need to save net my network you know my network that will be generated so I will call it vsum to vsum okay import so here it is okay you need to do some correction um, very minor corrections for example if you if you click control and a you know it will show you like uh, links only you know center lines control a back it will show you the number of links so I prefer to work like this control a and I move my link a little okay and even here I move it a little if you have a background you can refer to it this is just for a nice view I will click here on this connector and by the way if you go to control a back you can see that my connector is the same way as has as I have defined it these two lanes are coming in these two lanes and these three lanes are coming into these three lanes one connector here one connector here and my link so two three five it is the same way I defined it here okay uh, maybe I forgot to define the connectivity here let's go back and see for the diverge here okay in this area so whatever has been defined here okay it will show so this guy is coming here this guy is coming there it was all right everything is fine probably so yeah so everything is fine here so I'm going back to my vsum okay and see that they are diverging from here two lanes and three lanes okay it's a very nice freeway segment it's very good um, so I need to make this one nicer okay this is fine straight so I will go and right click and create spline so it will create for me intermediate points click OK and then I go to recalculate supply so you know magic and then we'll do the same thing here create supply three points is enough for me okay and recalculate and here we go you can see that everything came nice you know pavement marking um, reduced speed areas came um, the routes so you have everything ready um, of course this is a simple network later on when you export more complicated or larger scale networks you need to do some extra efforts okay so the last thing I'm going to show you here is to run the simulation which is from here save the changes and here it is okay um, in fact there is maybe some other things that you need to check with your simulation um, let's talk about this here um, desire, desired speed you need to make sure of them reduce speed areas conflict areas priority rules if if possible stop signs signal hits these are the main things to, to to work with i can show you something here because of the high volume and the huge weave we have okay there's some problems happening here um, let's go back to vsim and we can see that i have six thousand and two thousand there will be almost nine thousand 2000 will diverge and so we have we have about um, 2000 vehicle wants to go like this and the rest will go straight so we have a strong weave here that's why we can see some problem in the lane changes especially that the distance is not that long okay so the cars are very crowded um, I'm going to stop the simulation um, it will give you some errors just ignore them for now let's just go to the conflict areas okay and uh, there is no conflict areas in here because it's a free merge and a free diverge everyone has his own lane so there is no conflict areas 
okay um, there is something important I believe I need to tell you about which is here if you go to control a you can see that the pink color is the connectors the blue color is the link if you double click on the link or sorry if you double click on the connector you something called lane change distance okay so in 200 meters vehicles will start making their decisions but in reality probably people knows what they are doing so sometimes it's better to increase this distance okay so I'm gonna make it 600 for both of the connectors okay because we are not I'm not modeling the whole system now I'm just modeling a part of it so it's better to change these values so people can make their lane change earlier not um, at the last minute well some of them will do that um, but not all of them and the other thing is here that if you look at this pink color here and here this is where people after this point will start making lane decisions lane change decisions so it's better to extend it because in reality it's not like that it's a bit longer so I'm going to extend it and just move this one back okay because probably vehicles after this point they will start to make their decisions and the same as here okay um, of course if you have a the background or what is in reality it's better to model it the same as reality but this is just for the purpose of this example sometimes you may face this problem and actually no need to do it here okay because people will just disappear after this point so you can select both of them and recalculate supply okay maybe in now we will have a better situation uh, although I believe it was gonna be crowded um, because of the high conflict or the high weave uh, on the main line here okay but that's fine um, this is reality so um, this will end um, tutorial number eight exporting vsim vsim to vsim um, if you have more questions or any question you can put a comment please and i will reply to you and by the way this is like a simple exporting and simple example um, but the procedure will never change okay so thank you